He says, what should we say when the muaddin, when the caller for prayer says, قَدْ قَامَتِ الصَّلَاةُ قَدْ قَامَتِ الصَّلَاةُ Now we know that the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, in regards to the adhan, whenever you hear the adhan, meaning the muaddin calling for the call for prayer, you should say exactly as he says. So when he says Allahu Akbar four times, we say Allahu Akbar four times. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah twice, we say the same. Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah we say the same. Hayya ala salat twice, we say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Hayya ala al-falah twice, we say also twice la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. If it's Fajr, he says, As-salatu khayrun min al nawm we repeat this like he says twice. And then he says, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, we say it. La ilaha illallah, and we say it. This is the adhan. So we have no problem. We have a crystal clear hadith showing us, showing us what to say. The Prophet told us, no problem. The issue is with the iqamah. Now the adhan is to notify people that the time of prayer is due. The iqamah is to notify people that now the, uh, the, the, the prayer is taking place. So this happens when the Imam is present and we would like to inform the congregation that the, the prayer is to begin now. So the Mu'addin says, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah hayya ala salati hayya ala falah qam tisaf qam sa Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. So what should we say? The most authentic opinion is that you do not say anything. I, I don't repeat after him. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah hayya ala sa'af. I do not say anything. No, you do not say anything. Because the hadith came only to repeat after the mu'addin when he gives the adhan. But when he gives the iqamah, we don't have any evidence to repeat after him. And therefore, I hope this answers your first question, uh, Brother Muhammad.